This is the UPerfect UDoc X 15.6 Pro Lab Dock. What is this exactly? This is actually perfect for anyone using a Samsung phone that has Samsung DeX. However, please do not switch off yet because this might be good for you as well, or at least something to consider for the future. Before we go into this full transparency, UDoc provided me this little lab dock for an unbiased review. They have no say in this video or anything that I say. This is my own opinion. Opinion, and they do not see this video before you do. And like I always say, no matter the cost of the item that I review, almost all of the time, the production cost for making these videos, be it reviewing, filming, editing, I'm a professional film editor, by the way, buying the music rights, all of my equipment, all of that, the production cost is much higher than the item that is provided to me. So for me at least, I don't see a point to giving you a glossed over opinion. This is my honest opinion. I will tell you also about all of the negatives that I found with this device. And with that, out of the way, let's start the review. If you have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I'm not a tech reviewer, so I'm not going to bore you with too many tech details. So if you want to know the tech specifics, obviously go to the website. I will tell you all about the use case, how I like using it, especially for traveling, if this is something for traveling. And more importantly, as I said, this is specifically for DEX users. But I do not like recommending an item that is just one purpose. I want to showcase that this is also very good for multiple purposes. Let's explain DEX first. The DEX feature on, for example, my Samsung Fold 5 or most of the flagship Samsung phones, I'm not sure if the budget phones have DEX, but the flagship phones definitely have DEX. DEX is a feature where you can attach the Samsung phone via the USB-C out into, I don't know, a HDMI dock, for example, and you connect it to a TV. For example, when you're traveling to the hotel room's TV, then you get a desktop experience just like on a regular laptop or computer. And this actually gives you the opportunity to do some work or when you're traveling, watch Netflix on a bigger screen instead of just watching it on your phone. And that is one of the features why I always have been loving Samsung. I have a Samsung Fold 5, which gives me a bigger screen real estate. However, there are times where you want an even bigger screen or if you are on a regular slab phone you also want a bigger screen right enter the uperfect lab dog what is it exactly this is a laptop experience let's say it that way where you have a 15.6 inch ips screen with 120 hertz and a full hd resolution on the sides you have two usb c ports one of which is power only and then you have one usb a one 3.5 millimeter headphone jack one mini hdmi which will become very important in just a second and one micro sd slot more on these inputs and outputs in just a second as you can see here you have a laptop experience but that is very important to say this is an accessory basically this is not a standalone laptop device this will extend any device that you connect to this system let's do this real quick where i connect my samsung fold 5 via usb-c and then you basically have two ways to connect your samsung phone to the laptop either via usb-c or wirelessly via Bluetooth. And that's something that I want to get out of the way first. While you have Bluetooth, honestly, from my personal experience, connecting the Samsung Fold 5 via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to this laptop, it works, but it's not great. It is somewhat stuttery. I'm not 100% sure if this is due to my Fold 5 or if this is something with the laptop. Not really sure. From my personal experience, I would not connect it wirelessly. You can. Again, you can do that. And maybe for you, it's not a big deal. Maybe it's on the Samsung S25 Ultra, it's a better experience. But with my Fold 5, I only use this in cable mode. So now I connect it to the laptop via USB-C. I need to go into my phone, obviously, and then you can see that my screen is just being mirrored one-on-one -on -one from my phone 
to the lab dock but this is obviously not what we want to do we want to go into dex mode now it boots up into samsung dex mode and right away you will see this desktop like experience as if i would be on a windows computer i'm a mac user i don't use windows but this is basically what more or less i remember somewhat from using a windows computer many years ago you have your trackpad and this is one of the negatives that i can tell you right away the keyboard is good it is tactile to some degree and it feels good to write on but this trackpad is somewhat not that precise it works but yeah it's it's not that great especially if you want to kind of mark some text to copy it it just doesn't work that well it is okay but it could be definitely better then just like on a windows computer you have your app folder that you can access here but let me just show you the windowed experience so if i open up an app you can see here here right away that I have a window experience or I can go full screen as you were able to see here that I did accidentally because as I said this trackpad isn't that precise and I sometimes do like these wrong inputs and you see here I'm I'm really struggling to hit stuff very precisely but going back to dex i really like this dex experience where it gives me this desktop environment and having multiple windows with apps open which makes working on the go really enjoyable again this cannot be used as a standalone obviously many of you will argue hey why would i need this because i could just carry my laptop and my phone and have basically the same experience and i get that this is basically something that i really wanted to utilize when traveling however in hindsight the smaller version would have been better because this is a solid aluminium build and with 15.6 inches which is really big and as big as a laptop this actually is for me personally to travel a little bit too big and too heavy to carry around for traveling my initial thought was to have this in addition to my fold 5 to give me a bigger screen when traveling and to give me a keyboard when I want to work instead of lugging around my laptop. That by the way is also expensive. I don't want to carry around my expensive MacBook Pro when I'm traveling just for vacation. So in my mind when I thought about this product I thought okay this is a comparatively cheap alternative to my MacBook Pro that would give me enough screen real estate to watch movies on the go to have a keyboard when i need to answer emails or when i want to script and not having to worry that this could be stolen because if someone would have stolen this device all of my data would be on the phone that is in my pocket and if the thief went into my hotel room they would have only stolen this device but not my data so that was somewhat my thought process but i did not anticipate the weight of this full aluminium case and and the size of this screen while i love the size of this screen is overall everything is a little bit too big but i told you that i don't want to recommend to you a device that is only one purpose because some of you will say i don't have a samsung phone i don't have samsung decks i don't see this as useful because i could just bring my computer or my ipad for example but what i really like about this and why i think this is dual purpose and could be also very useful to anyone else this is a really cool screen and you have a mini HDMI input meaning this can easily be utilized for a gaming device then you can just use this to play games or to watch movies more importantly you can also use this as a secondary screen for your MacBook or your other laptop or computer devices because the HDMI input obviously you can just input any device with an HDMI out so this becomes a very good portable 
secondary monitor especially also for anyone who is traveling if you want to carry this as a secondary monitor in addition to your laptop because you're a digital nomad this works really well for that especially considering you have a 360 degree hinge and now this becomes like a monitor standing on your desk while your laptop could be right next to it and by the way all of this screen is touch screen so you don't need to use the trackpad that as i said isn't that precise you can use the screen as a trackpad so in summary this is a non-standalone device as an add-on to either your samsung phone with samsung dex but it also can be used as a secondary monitor for your gaming device or for your computer and therefore might be interesting to you if you are just like me a samsung user and you really want something to expand the samsung dex experience but more importantly also want to utilize this as a secondary monitor and a device not just buy this for samsung dex only again there are some trade-offs that you really need to keep in mind the trackpad isn't that great i would rather kind of use a bluetooth mouse with this but you also have the touch screen which does work quite well and the screen does look really cool so again for using it as a secondary monitor this is really cool but i also want to say if you would consider this for traveling maybe go for the smaller versions there is a 14 inch version but there's also a 13.3 inch version that might be a little bit better for traveling again i can totally understand anyone who will be commenting below that this might not be for them because i cannot argue against just taking a laptop or just taking an ipad in addition to your phone but i think this is a really cool alternative to a laptop if you are a Samsung user because as I said when you're traveling you don't want to worry about your MacBook Pro being alone in your hotel room while you're strolling about the city I believe this is a really cool alternative where you take your phone with you when you are exploring the city and not having to worry about this device being potentially threatened by a thief if this is in your hotel room if someone steals it it's not not that expensive compared to a MacBook Pro and all of your data is in your pants pockets but when you go back to the hotel room you basically have a laptop experience can watch movies on the bigger screen have a keyboard to work a little bit for those users I think this is a really cool device that you should check out all right what do you think about this you perfect laptop system is this something for you if you are a Samsung user do you think this would be something that you might want to check out let me know in the comment section below and like always all of these items are also linked below those are affiliate links with those you won't pay more but you will support this channel with a small kickback of that sale and if you want to see another you perfect dual screen setup that i implemented in my command station and that is also a device that i use for editing on the go check out the video up here and youtube thinks you might like the video down here and don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button up here thank you so much for watching and i see you in the next videos thank you very much